going on people i got quite a few views on one of my videos so i want to record the video regarding my video and it's regarding c15 atmospheric pressure sensor i actually got I believe two or three videos regarding that so a while back ago i had a problem i had a c15 cat everybody's seen it. it's blue peter build uh, twin turbo which was decompressed to 16 to 1 instead of from 18 to 1 and uh, was tuned to 785 horse i was blowing transmission like peanuts <clears throat> so a lot of people ask me atmospheric pressure that can it throw the check engine light on yes it can if it will read zero like your ecm will pick up so let's review this my sound down for somebody you have sensors all over the engine you have oil cam crank uh fuel pressure intake temperature exhaust temperature all the sensors all what does those sensors do they throw the information to the ecm to fine tune it so atmospheric pressure sensor which everybody takes for granted actually plays a lot bigger role than a lot of mechanics think that sensor specifically designed to fine tune it fuel to air ratio so you don't blow black smoke and you're not wasting fuel for no reason so in my scenario what i had problem is it was getting terrible fuel mileage and i was lacking on power anytime i would talk to the professional mechanics they would tell me no check engine line in. no problem that's what majority of mechanics is now uh, that's how they look at it no check engine light no problem in my ideology anytime you bring a truck to professional mechanic he needs to plug in the ecm and read the live data i know the newer engines like peckard for the example I don't know how many hundreds of sensors they have. They have a EGR sensor, they have an engine sensor, they have a turbo sensor, they got DPF sensors, they got fart sensors, they got stupid amount of sensors. But the true mechanic who knowledgeable with them, he's supposed to know in his facility at what elevation he is, he can read what's the atmospheric pressure reading, uh, which altitude he needs to read, whatever, etc. etc. So I called Pittsburgh Power that time and i told them exactly what it's doing and they like change the cam change the crank change this nobody never told me about atmospheric pressure sensor so if you have a c15 c13 or 60 series detro which is older one i'm not talking about the newer trucks i don't even want to talk about them but uh, that sensor can cause problems without mechanics to find out so I don't think that they're expensive. I think Caterpillar one maybe went up since the inflation went up, but I think at that point in time I was paying like 110, 110 to 115 dollars for that sensor. So hopefully this information helped you guys because, like I said, a lot of people actually repeating the same question: check engine light. What is the symptoms are? Um, symptoms are weird. It's really hard to explain. I'm like trying to record this and thinking, what is how exactly the symptom is. You will get bad fuel mileage and you will lock on power. So in my scenario at that time, I don't think I said that, um, the sensor actually ended up reading like I was up on a high altitude. So it was retarding my timing, uh, lean the fuel, because it was thinking I'm on a high altitude so the air is a lot thinner. So, if you truly know your truck, when you go from West Coast to Florida, seems like the truck usually runs better in Florida. The reason why, because the oxygen is a lot richer there and you have moisture content uh, in the air. Anytime you have air and light moisture, your engine will actually run better because you're creating steam in a combustion engine. Maybe for some people it's like, that's crazy, but that's how it works. And that sensor, that's what reads in which altitude you are and how much the fuel and where's the timing needs to be. That's on the C15 and Detroit's non-AGR engines. Any time you go on a newer engines, they actually, the sensor controls the turbo, partially controls the turbo, and EGR valve, the percentage needs to be open. Thanks for watching all. Maybe I went too far, but hopefully this info helps somebody.